let's talk social media a little bit. I want to talk about your Instagram first. Now, what Instagram posts get the biggest response for you? When I'm flying in a bitch. Hey, because I come through. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, look, what? <laughs> yeah, like when I fly or a new hairstyle or uh, like when I'm in a video, like when I'm in a car rapping. Um, those are like my biggest. Yeah. Now, as far as Instagram, do you have an Instagram strategy? No, I just post as I go. I don't really plan much. I just do me. Now, speaking of Instagrams, your direct messages. How crazy are your direct messages on Instagram? Oh, I can't look in that shit because I'm tired of seeing these little penis <laughs> <laughs> in there <laughs> rubbing themselves. <laughs> Nigga, go show that shit to somebody that want to see that shit. Like, show me some money or something. <laughs> show, me, like, show me some money or, like, something more interesting. Like, oh, my God, they be saying the craziest shit, the weirdest shit. Like, um, I just stop looking in there, you know, like. Uh. Now, what about people trying to holler at you in the DM as far as, like, males and females? What's the ratio? Oh, they always trying to talk to me. I ain't talking to nobody on social media. That don't, you, you can kill that. You ain't gotta ask me that. You ain't about to. You better catch me somewhere. And you probably ain't gonna catch me nowhere because I'm gonna be with security. Or you catch me in the Atlanta streets, in the mall, or something. But girl, I'm calling you girl. Talking about girl. <laughs> now, how <laughs> do you. Interviewer. Now, when it comes to disrespect with social media and like Instagram, for example, how do you deal with disrespectful comments, negative, hateful comments? How do you deal with that? They don't matter. I mean, at the end of the day, them people that's just miserable with themselves. Like, because if I don't like something, I'm just not going to address it. Why am I going to sit on your page to tell you how much I don't like something? I don't give a fuck that much to tell you because I don't like it. Obviously, you like it. You took your time out to write. So, thank you. That's your comment, and it's going to just collect dust in my comments. I don't care. Do you have a blocking policy? Now, if you say something like under my niece picture or my mom picture, she's gonna get blocked. You remember that video? <laughs> yeah, like if you say something like that, it just really gets to me because it's like some people, they really don't have no filter on that social media. Like they will say something under my niece photo that's just so rude. And I'm like, that you just about to get blocked. Like, and then you go on their page and they got a baby. Why would you say something like that on my baby picture? So I block people like that, but can nobody hurt my feelings no more? I think my fucks are all gone. So it's impossible to hurt my feelings, like, especially off social media. And I don't even know you. Like, I don't even care about your opinion, to be honest. Like, I feed off positive only. Like, fuck that negative shit. Like, do you clap back? Fuck you, man. I do clap back. It's fun clapping back sometimes because they be fucking deserving it. This one bitch on Halloween gonna ask, gonna tell me how I spelled something. She gonna say something. This is how you spell this. I said, bitch, are you a teacher for Halloween? <laughs> 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 bitch, I thought that was so clever. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about your Snapchat? How crazy is your Snapchat versus your Instagram? Okay, Snapchat. <laughs> Snapchat, I just feel like you could just just do anything on there because it's like no comments. And you can't say, well, I don't know how my fans figured out how to take videos off of there. So now I got to really start watching what I do. Because at first I was feeling like I could just be me. Like, I'm free. So I was just really just doing whatever. I feel like I don't have no filter on Snapchat. No filter on Snapchat. I have fun. I cuss out people. Now, what I about twerk. your... <laughs> <laughs> twerk a lot. I twerk a lot. I twerk a lot. <laughs> Twerking for a burger. Now, what about DMs on Snapchat? Oh, I, don't, I only let people DM me when I'm... Like, the people that I'm following can DM me. So, you can't DM me. Like, uh-uh. I don't like that. That That's too personal. I feel like that's too personal, too, at the same time. Like, I don't give too many people conversation. I don't... Nah, I'm exclusive. Now, now, when it comes to social media, 
in general, what's your biggest pet peeve with it at this point overall? What bothers you the most about social media? What bothers me about social media? No, I love social media. Don't nothing bother me. It helped me make money. Uh, it helped me stun on bitches. Uh, it helped me uh, get more popular. Oh shit, I ain't got no problem with. What irritates me? Just when people they bully. Pe- I hate that cyber bullying. I hate it because some people not as strong as me. Some people mindset is not what mine's at, and they can really like make people feel bad. Like it was one little. She was a like little heavy set girl. She went to prom and she felt so good. She had a status and was like, "Oh, this was the best day of my life." She uploaded a picture. After she uploaded the picture, her next post was like, "I should have never uploaded no picture. I should have never went to prom. I feel so stupid." Cause everybody like really it went viral of people making fun of her, and it's sad, you know. Like I just feel like you don't treat people like that, you know. Like you you gonna have kids, you wanna. You're gonna have nieces and nephews, and you don't want people to treat your people like that. So you you treat people how you want to be treated. That wasn't cool to me. I don't I don't like that cyberbullying. Just like with the with the the singer, the um the real known singer, and she wanted to kill herself. And people can't take that shit. Like some people are just not built for that, and they're they're not supposed to. You know, and that's just like a person coming from the hood and a person coming from the suburbs. The person from the hood gonna be able to take a lot that somebody from the suburbs can't take. Cause they're not used to that. You don't do people like that, and they just ha- they they get enjoy like they find enjoyment out of like bringing other people down. I hate that shit. I hate it. I hate it. Like, cause if it was my niece or my nephew, I'd be ready to pull up on everybody. I don't give a fuck. Small as you feel me, like, bitch, what, what? You know what I mean? So that's what I hate. Now was wasn't your Instagram hacked at one point? They fucking hacked my Instagram. You think that? Oh, they pissed me off. I hate that, too. They hacked my fucking Instagram. Now, how did that happen? You know what? It was one of Nicki Minaj fans. It was one of Nicki Minaj. Let me tell you, because they so stupid. They was under my, my new page I made. It was like, ah, now this bitch got to start all over, right? And, you know, they are the barbs. The barbs is crazy. And they, like, comment back and forth to each other. So when I got my page back... One of them commented like, bitch, how did she get it back? You gave her, you let her get this page back? She's like, no, I don't know how the fuck she got it back. And then they DM me and was like, if you want this page back, I need $5,000. I'm not about to pay for two that damn page. Because many, I'm not about, it's just the pride. I ain't even about to do that. It was one of Nikki fans. Crazy ass fans. And I ain't even did nothing, because I love Nikki. They just fucking with me. They just be bored. One of her fans uploaded my phone number. I don't know how to fuck that happened. <laughs> <laughs> On Twitter. Uploaded my phone number, and I don't even know how they got it. And one night, I'm chilling with my best friend. She just came into town, and my phone blowing up. So she having fun, fun answering the phone, like, who is it? Who is it? Playing, but I'm like, how the fuck did my number get out? I goes on Twitter. Everybody like, babe, I FaceTime you answer the phone. <laughs> and one of her fans... Uploading my phone number. But I'm saying, though, like, how does that even start? I don't know. I don't do nothing. Because I, all, I sh- always show love. Because I love her. Shit. Ain't nobody going to make me not like her shit. I grew up listening to her. I grew up. I, I'm not about to. That's just not in my bloodline. My mama ain't raised me to be like that. Just have beef with somebody for no reason. Or try to come up off somebody's name. Or she got shit. She ain't, I don't, I don't know. But you were able to get your your page back, and you. Were I got my page back. Shout out to Karen Silva. And you were able to get it back, reset to maybe how it was before. Nah, I got it back. All my pictures and everything was gone. So you had to literally start over I with your followers and everything. Like, no, not with my followers. My followers are still there. At that time, I think I had like five hundred, and um, I had to, all my stuff was gone so I had like almost 2,000 pictures they erased all of it so I had to just start all over but it was cool because it just gave me a fresh start to shit one bitches and I did a great job thank you very much now I'm sure you've gotten a plethora of booking requests what's been your strangest booking request at this point you really want to know Performing Run Me My Money at somebody's funeral. <laughs> what the 
like, wait, what? I couldn't do that. A funeral, G? <laughs> really? Like, no. <laughs> no, I just couldn't. I just, it was kind of weird. It wasn't funny, but it was funny, you know? And, like, she loved you. <laughs> I just couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, want me my money? <laughs> Thanks.